Hello friends and family, it's me here again, Fatima. Today's video, I'll be making Bahar. So let's start the video. That's my meat here has been already been boiling, my lamb meat. So I'm gonna, I soak my beans for a while, so I'm gonna add my beans there. It's like one cup of beans. So I'm gonna add one salt. I'm gonna add one spoon of salt for taste and one maggi cube. I'm gonna be adding some jimbo maggi one for taste. One teaspoon of salt. Moving into my ingredient, I have one spring onion here. I have salted fish known as geja. I have two cut bullet pepper in here, but I'm gonna be using only one because my kids they don't like eating spicy food. So that's why sometimes I'm gonna leave this one to just to drop it in because I love spicy food. I have my locust beans here. Everything here has been washed, nicely been washed. So you can get this in any African shop. I have my garden egg, known as pizza tomato. I have my one big onion and some mackerel fish. I'm gonna steam that one. And then I have some of my raw peanut here which I'm going to be blending. I'm going to blend that. As you can see, I'm steaming my fish with the beans and the meat together. So that's my fish here. That's my peanut has been blended. So that's my peanut has been nicely blended. So if your blender cannot blend it very smoothly, if your blender is not that much strong, you can always use shifter to be shifting it. You know. Now I'm gonna be blending everything in here. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to add some of this one, I'm not going to blend this one, I'm just going to add it into my pot here, just like that, just handful, you know, but you don't have to do that, but I always want, when I'm eating it, I should fill some locust beans, as you can see, now my beans is like half and half cooked. Can you see that? Now I'm gonna be adding my blended stuff, my pepper and my locust beans, onions. At this point, I'm gonna be adding my pepper in my pizza tomato. I'll be adding some of this, it's called ghee. I think it is from cow, cow oil, something like that. But I always use it for my nyankatans. For when I'm cooking bahar, you see, I always use it. That's my fish has been nicely steamed. I mean, at this point, I'm going to be putting my ghee in there, but it's optional. If you don't want to, it's, it's optional. If you don't want it, you don't need to add it there. So, put as many as you want. I'm 
I'm gonna be adding two Maggi cube in there. That's my fish. I remove everything from the bone. So I'll, I'll add the fish when my rice is about to done. Today I'll be using bass magic rice. So that's the rice I'll be using. I'm going to remove my bigger tomato. I'm going to be adding my peanut in now. I'm gonna be leaving it for five minutes and added my rice. By the way, I have four cup of rice, so I'm gonna be adding my rice in there. Mix it very well. cover it and put it on very low fire I'm gonna add my okra I forgot to add my okra so I'm just gonna add some okra there so that's my okra I forgot to add it there so I just remember it just now so I decided to add it my, bahal, my rice is now ready. My bahal is ready now. As you can see. Look at that. Now I'll be adding my fish. Yeah, I will just mix it. So that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching, friends and family, everyone. Thank you so much. My Mbaha Nyangkatang Huti is now ready. I mean, this dish is so nice. So delicious. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Don't forget to share this video. Thumbs up. Comment like subscribe join my family thank you so much everyone